Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are coming back at you with another video and another Magic Candle Company review. We did one of these a couple of months ago. We'll link that down below and up in the corner so you guys can check that out um, where we reviewed a couple of candles as well as a bunch of uh, fragrance oils from the Magic Candle Company. But a few, a few of you guys have been asking for an updated video with some new scents. So here we are. We picked up four new candles and we are gonna talk about those today. We are fans of all four of them, so let's dive right in and get started. Okay, so the first candle we picked up is called Animation, and it's supposed to smell like when you walk into Art of Animation in the lobby. So they describe it as, put pencil to paper and animate your creative soul with our animation fragrance. Mm. This scent features fresh slices of apricot, peaches, and green mangoes. So let's open it up and see. Hmm. It's very like fruity and fresh. It has a nice pink color to it. And like we mentioned in our other video is the wick is the wood burning wick. So yeah. when you light it, it like crackles. It's really nice. And that's one of my favorite things about these candles. If you like kind of listening to it in like silence, <laughs> as weird as that sounds, you can hear like the crackles and it's just really It's just nice. a nice touch. Yeah. But this one, it's very fruity. It's nice. Um, and I wouldn't mind like burning this in my house and having it like smell up the whole house. No, definitely not. And like we just came back from a trip. Uh, if you guys didn't see our previous vlogs, you can go check those out. But we just came back from a trip where we stayed at Art of Animation. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why we picked this one up. And yeah, it smells just like the lobby. It's yeah. like a nice fruity smell. I, I know it says it features apricot, peaches, and mangoes. I am almost get like a kind of like a cherry-ish yeah. kind of smell to it. It's really good, yeah. but it's fruity. So if you don't like fruity scents, this isn't gonna be for you. Mm -hmm. But if you do like fruity, and you do like the way the art of animation smells, then it's really good. Yeah, and it does really smell like the lobby. Like, I know a lot of people always say art of animation has like a certain smell when you yeah. walk in, and it really does. It, I think it captures it nicely in this candle, so. Yep. It's a good one. All right, switching gears now to our second candle. Uh, this one is called Castaway Cruise. Um, we got this because we just came back from a Disney cruise and we wanted something to kind of bring that home with us and remind us of our, of our time there. Our uh, awesome vacation. <laughs> awesome vacation. Um, yeah, this one says, you'll be reminiscing about being on a beautiful island getaway in the Bahamas, which is where we were. Featuring a smooth and elegant blend of soft floral notes with salty highlights, you'll also find crisp, ozonic tones of sea salt and a calming touch of jasmine and sweet cream. So, like we said with this one, Art of Animation smells just like the lobby. And if you saw our other video, you know that like some of these are supposed to smell just like the thing. Other scents are like inspired by it. Yeah. Obviously, you can't smell an island. Yeah, I think they wanted to just make it smell like beachy, oceany, yeah. summery. Yeah. Um, let's see. And it's really, really nice. Like if you like that, like yeah. oceany, like beachy water type of smell, this, this one, is great. This one does, I will say, um, it does have floral notes, and I know some people are sensitive to that, yeah. so be aware of that. And also. This one has, um, I don't know if it's just me, but it has more of like a perfumey smell to it. Um, I don't know if it's because of the florals. It might be because of yeah, the probably. florals, but, but it's still really nice. And it reminds me of like the summer and the ocean and everything that has to do with an island. Yeah, it's a perfect candle for this time of year. Again, yeah. like Alex said, there is um, hints of floral notes in this. Mm -hmm. So if you are a little bit sensitive to like flowery type of smells, um, this might not be the one for you, but if you're not and you just want your house to smell like the beach, you gotta go with this one. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah, I don't know if you guys could tell, but the wicks are black. We went through all these, so we did try them all out, and this is absolutely one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. So, what's next? Okay, so the next one is Extraterrestrial Forest. So, if you guys have ever been to Universal, you know the classic ride E.T. And you know that when you're in the queue line, you're going through the forest, and it has that certain smell. And specifically, this smell like brings me back to my childhood because I remember waiting in line for ET when I was like a little girl. Yeah. Um, so this one is described as there's a chill in the nighttime air as you hop aboard your starbound bike and race through a misty redwood forest mm -hmm. away from home and across the moonlit sky. This scent features top notes of metallic and moss, followed by middle notes of fir needles and musk all rested upon base notes of balsam and sandalwood. Mm. So a lot of like woodsy smells. So let's see. Mm. 
It definitely smells like a forest. Um, it smells like you're like outdoors. It has a nice green um, color to it. What do you think about it? Yeah, um, it's it's kind of like a, a niche smell. You know, like this isn't something that I would want my whole house to smell like all the time. Yeah. But if I, first of all, I will say it smells exactly like the cube. Yeah. So it they really, does. really, really nailed down mm -hmm. the scent of that ET smell. Yeah. Um, and it, like Alex said, if you've been on the a ride before in Universal, you know what the cube smells like, and yeah. it has that woodsy, like musty kind of smell. Yeah. Um, so that is exactly what this candle smells like. So if you like that smell, then you're gonna love this. I like it. Um, I, we, I burned it a couple of times. I will say, like, it's not something that I would leave on like for hours and hours and just like have my whole house smell like this because mm -hmm. it is a kind of like musty, dewy, woods mm -hmm. kind of smell. Mm -hmm. But if I'm ever missing the ride, and I love E.T., mm -hmm. and I'll just throw that on and it, it does take me back to that. Also, this would be nice around Christmas time. I know some people get like fake trees mm -hmm. and I know people will miss like the smell of a real Christmas tree. This might be nice like around Christmas time to like have your house smell like an actual Christmas tree because it has like the fur needle smell in here. Yeah. But it's nice. It's light. It's not too heavy. So I don't think like it's it very would, light. Yeah. I don't think it would give you like a t any type of headache or anything. No. But like Matt said, it might be a little bit weird to have like your whole house smell like this. But in small doses, this is a good one. Yeah, definitely. And our last candle that we have here, which is a great one, um, I gotta be careful with this because we just had this burning before we did this video. I gotta make sure the wax dried up. Um, this is Mouse Waffles. This is um, inspired by, I guess you could say Mickey Waffles, but really just any waffles in general. Yeah. It, it smells just like waffles and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, this scent features a warm batter and a sweet maple syrup scent, which delivers the unmistakable aroma of waffles. So if you love waffles, you're gonna love this candle mm -hmm. because it's it really smells, good. it's so, so good. Like it smells just like waffles. We had this burning this morning and it just smelled great. It's, yeah. a, it's a great morning candle if you want your house to have that like, kind of like breakfasty type of smell. And this one's, I love it. It's a very sweet smell. So if you're sensitive to sweet smells, be aware of that, but it's very good. It, it really, it makes your house smell like you were just baking something. Like it's that typical like, bakery sweet smell yeah it's really good this one is probably one of my favorites yeah I, I like that type of smell though yeah it's really nice and it's really good and i will say like i love the way this smells but you can find this elsewhere like this yeah. isn't unique to like the mat you can find a waffle smelling candle or i was like gonna a syrup say candle, pretty much anywhere yeah. yankee candle like a bunch of them make this kind of smell i like smells like this and i usually like lean towards smells like this when I get candles from like Bath and Body Works there's ones that smell just like this like I said I like sweet bakery type of smell so when I get candles from like Bath and Body Works or something like that I have had candles that smell just like this but if you want like um like a Disney version of that. Yeah, if you yeah. want the Disney version and it, if for it to say like mouse waffles and everything, it's really cute. It has like the Mickey waffle on top, then obviously get it from Magic Candle Company. But yeah. um, I think this was a really good order. I really Fruit, liked yeah. all of them this time. I know like if you watched our last video, some of the oils I was not a fan of. Um, like the the burning, the Rome burning, is burning Rome, which is uh, burning. from like Spaceship Earth when you're going past the fallen Rome. So. Yeah, I wasn't a fan yeah. of that smell, but this order, like I really didn't have a problem with any of these candles. They're all really nice smelling. Yeah, I agree. Um, each of these, uh, I think a couple of them varied in price, but for the most part, I believe they were like sixteen ninety five per candle. I think it was like seven ninety nine for shipping. So oh, um, they're not cheap, but there's really nowhere else you're gonna find these Disney specific sense so yeah. it's, it to me it's worth the price if you're a disney fan um and like yeah like alex said this was a really good order really another good one and it's also nice because it's a small business it's nice to like support small oh, businesses yeah, of like this so of course so if you had to put these in order of the Bad. four that we got how would you rank them from least favorite to favorite least. i won't say worst to best but least favorite least favorite um i think the extraterrestrial forest is my least, but it's like it's still really nice. Yeah. Um, then Castaway Cruise, then Animation, then Mass Waffles. Okay. That's it for me, yeah. Yeah. But they're all really nice. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm gonna put extraterrestrial forest at the bottom as well uh, for the same reason. Not that I don't like it, because I really do like it, yeah. but it's not one that I'm gonna be burning as frequently as these other ones. Yeah. So I'm gonna have this one at number four. I am going to put Mouse Waffles at number three. Really? Yep. Um, Castaway Cruise at number two, and number one, Animation. Yeah. Yeah, I was a big fan. Like when we went to Art of Animation, I had some hesitations about it, and now I am. I love it. Yeah. Like I, I definitely want to stay there again. Yeah. And this really like brings me back to, you know, coming back from a day at the parks, yeah. or you know, just waking up in the morning and walking through the lobby. I, I love that smell. Yeah, and it also just depends. Like everybody has their own um, opinions on smells. Like some people like florals, some people don't. Some people like sweet smells, some people don't. So yeah. you really just have to um, see what you like. Um, but all of these were really great this time. We're really happy with them. Yeah, absolutely. And I know you guys are watching these to kind of get some guidance on like maybe which ones you should pick up. Mm -hmm. And that's great too. It is kind of hard to give you like a review review because you can't smell through the camera. They need so, to invent smell of vision Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, maybe we could be the first channel with yeah. <laughs> smelling sense attached to it. But, uh, yeah, so it, it's, it's. We try to describe them to the best of our ability, but again, you're just gonna have to try these out for yourself and kind of see which ones you like. Alex loved the mouse waffle candle. Yeah. I liked it. It wasn't my favorite one out of the order. Yeah. So everyone's opinion is gonna vary. Nobody's right or wrong. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day, you're the one that's spending your own money here and it's your house or you know wherever you live that's gonna smell, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, we'll try to do these every couple of months for you guys. Um, we'll try to pick up some new ones. Uh, maybe the next time we'll get a couple new fragrance oils as well, just to kind of switch it up. But um, like I said, if you didn't check out our first Magic Candle Company review, we reviewed um, the African Lodge candle and the Butterbeer candle, which is another really good one, as yeah. well as 10 fragrance oils. Again, we'll link that down below so you guys can check that out. Um, but yeah, so hope you guys found this helpful. And let us know which candle you would prefer if you picked up any one of these that we chose and reviewed today. Yeah. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave us a nice big thumbs up. It helps us out and lets us know you guys are enjoying the videos. And make sure you guys subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of our future videos as well. And with that, we'll see you guys real soon. Bye. Bye.